Still trying in a couple of isolated showers this morning here on a Tuesday and most of those right now into the Missouri boot hill. We have been stuck with this area of low pressure in a trough that has been bringing us each day chances for hit and miss scattered showers and storms. If you get caught in them, heavy rain, some thunder, some lightning, they typically don't last too long, but uh, they can put down some really heavy rainfall. It was a little more probably rain than what I anticipated going into Labor Day weekend, probably uh, interrupting some folks' plans, but uh, we are starting to finally see that wrap up here in our region. Uh, areas that did pick up on some rain, especially over the weekend, uh, likely dealing with some patchy fog in a few spots. Uh, we do have some visibility problems in some spots, actually uh, visibility down to less than a half a mile. Shouldn't be too much of a concern, but uh, there is some fog out there here on a Tuesday morning in early September. It is going to be another humid day. A few more hit and miss scattered showers and storms pretty likely, especially during the heat of the afternoon. Again, these are still going to be hit and miss, so not everybody's going to get rain today. But as we look ahead to Wednesday, I can't rule out an isolated pop up storm during the heat of the day, but the humidity starts to drop and this area of low pressure finally begins pushing eastward. That is going to clear the rain out of here, especially as we move into Thursday and finally some sunshine also set to return Thursday and most of Friday should be very nice days weather wise here in our neck of the woods. There goes that area of low pressure now tracking in the northeast. The trough behind it will also start to shift eastward as it does. So that's going to get rid of that rain chance and notice the flow out of the north behind that. That is going to start ushering in some of that cooler, less humid air. And speaking of the humidity, of course, leading to temperatures that are quite warm this morning. 69 degrees currently in Carbondale, 69 in Poplar Bluff, and you can really see some of the low clouds there in the distance. Same amount Mount Vernon right now 67 degrees, lots of low clouds 70 at this hour in Perryville, Missouri, and that area of low pressure will continue to track eastward. But uh, as we go throughout the day today, we'll likely still see enough moisture lingering around close enough to this trough where we'll likely see a few more scattered showers and storms. Lunchtime temperatures up for 70s. Can't rule out an isolated shower this morning, even up to the lunchtime hour, but you'll notice best rain chances show up during the heat of the day. Heavy rain, possibly a little thunder and lightning, but uh, again, not as many storms as what we saw yesterday. Lower 80s today for high temperatures. They fade away quickly after sunset and then looking ahead to Wednesday, uh, maybe a pop up shower, but the rain chance will be considerably lower Wednesday afternoon, especially as the humidity starts to come down and the breeze picks up from the north. Thursday is a dry day, then Friday and into the weekend. Friday night, small chance for a couple showers, mainly into western Kentucky. Saturday and Sunday, well, those rain chances start to go back up. So the humidity will be dry, lower, at least in some drier air, moving in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Right now, scattered showers, scattered storms, pretty likely Saturday. Sunday brings one of the best chances, and then a more substantial cold front moves through Sunday night, and then that will clear out most of the rain towards the early part of next week and drop temperatures in the humidity. Check that out. By Monday morning, we're waking up in the 50s and afternoon highs next week, early next week, high temperatures into the mid to upper 70s. I'll tell you what, this weekend really, if you dodge the raindrops, it wasn't bad. I it wasn't bad. Yeah, the clouds helped keep temperatures down. Now, dodging the rain uh, drops, that was another challenge. Well, I told people, let's say, like, would you rather have rain or 90 degree weather? So. Well, I think that's kind of the trade off this year, <laughs> yeah, this time right. of year, isn't it? All right, thanks for that, Nick.